Hi, welcome to the short video on the topic of ClickView integration. My name is John Callan. I'm with the product marketing team at ClickTech. This video is an introduction covering the topic of ClickView integration at a high level, but is not intended as a deep dive implementation guide. This video will cover ClickView integration by focusing on four key topics, data source integration, web and application integration, security integration, and finally integration with third party systems and processes. Let's take a look at data source integration. One of the key tenets of ClickView is that it can import data from a wide range of structured and unstructured sources of data and find common associations between them. Many common data sources, such as SQL Server and Oracle, provide ODBC and OLE drivers to allow data extraction from table and views. Additionally, many other software packages use a common database, such as SQL Server, to store the data behind the application, which is in turn available via ODBC, for example, Microsoft Dynamics thus further expanding the range of systems ClickView can extract data from. ClickView can also connect with sources of data such as from SAP and Salesforce.com. Let's take a closer look at these integrations. ClickView connects with data from Salesforce.com via a connector. To ClickView developers, this connector appears as a native connector, mimicking the style and appearance of the standard ODBC connector, making it easier for ClickView developers to extract data from Salesforce.com. All fields in any given Salesforce.com instance, including whatever custom fields exist, can be extracted into ClickView using the, the connector. The ClickView SAP connector greatly simplifies the process of extracting data from SAP warehouses. The ClickView SAP connector includes a simple query builder and can use the metadata and field descriptions from SAP to allow users to choose fields with meaningful names, allowing users to rapidly extract and understand SAP data in ClickView. In addition to importing SAP data, ClickView can also import the user roles and permissions data from SAP to ensure user access in ClickView mirrors that of SAP, ensuring users see only the data they are permitted to see. SAP data from a BW cube and R3 can be extracted via the SAP connector. Finally, it's common for data to be stored in a location that is not reachable via ODBC, such as a web service, or is in a format only accessible by a particular application, such as Informatica or an OLAP source. ClickView offers a way to unlock this trap data by using ClickView Data Exchange, also known as QVX, and can be used in two ways. QVX is a file format. A QVX file is a file format similar to an XML file that is optimized for rapid loading of data into ClickView. ClickView then consumes QVX files when loading data. This essentially uses QVX to push data out to ClickView. QVX is a connector. For systems that do not provide an ODBC or extract capability, QVX can be used as a connector to data to allow ClickView to pull data from a normally inaccessible source. In this case, a small program is created that will take a query from ClickView translate it to a query against the source system and then return data in a QVX format. This program can be created in a number of languages and can include all the logic required to work with the APIs and services from a third party system. This enables access into existing OLAP environments and systems such as Informatica. Now let's take a look at web and application integration. One of the most popular web based development and deployment environments for internal portals is Microsoft SharePoint. ClickView supports the use of SharePoint web parts. Web parts allow developers to select one or more charts or objects from a ClickView document and place them alongside their other content within the same portal. This can allow users to view their data and KPIs from their full dashboards along with all of the other business content so that they can see information without having to move from one application to another in order to do data analysis. ClickView web parts remain interactive and associative with each other, allowing the full power and experience of ClickView within a SharePoint portal. When it comes to integrating with third-party applications, whether on the desktop or on the web, ClickView has an ActiveX component allowing control and communication with ClickView via an API. The ClickView OCX is an ActiveX component containing the ClickView application that can be embedded into host application programs developed by third-party software manufacturers. It is provided on an OEM basis to provide a white-labeled version of ClickView. Integrating with websites is straightforward in ClickView. The ClickView Ajax client is open and extensible, allowing developers to use the ClickView APIs to enhance their websites and applications with ClickView Analytics. To help support developers to rapidly build visual interactive analytics into their websites, ClickTech provides the ClickView Workbench product. Workbench is a plugin to Microsoft Visual Studio that allows a developer to drag and drop ClickView objects into web pages written in .NET with no coding effort required. In many cases, displaying an entire ClickView document in the context or branding of an existing website is required. The ClickView Ajax and plugin clients can simply be placed in an HTML container known as an iframe, 
which is essentially a web page within a web page. This allows ClickView content to be integrated with any web development platform as no programming is required, other than the use of some standard HTML. Next, let's take a look at security integration. The topic of ClickView security is covered in a much more comprehensive series of videos and white papers that can all be accessed from ClickView.com. However, in general, ClickView is able to integrate with a series of standard security systems to authenticate and authorize users, including single sign-on systems, Active Directory, other LDAPs, and so on, allowing for integration with existing website and portal security. It does this using a combination of technologies such as integrated Windows authentication, HTTP headers, ticketing, as well as connections to many existing and custom LDAP solutions. The most straightforward security integration with ClickView is via integrated Windows authentication and Active Directory. It happens out of the box. When implementations are using a separate single sign-on solution, such as Tivoli Access Manager or SiteMinder, integration is still a straightforward task. ClickView utilizes a HTTP header injection method via a reverse proxy, ensuring that the right people have access to the right data and meaning that existing security infrastructures can be leveraged. The final topic is related to integration with third-party systems and processes, such as management systems, schedulers, version and deployment control systems. Out of the box, ClickView contains a management console. However, ClickView management tasks can be easily integrated into existing third-party management tools via the ClickView management API. An example of management automation includes extending the scope of an employee onboarding system to automatically add permissions and a license for ClickView, or to ensure that a license for a departing employee is freed up for a new user. This would remove the need to manually perform the task. With ClickView Publisher, data reload tasks can be scheduled based on both internal triggers and external triggers. Often, certain external tasks need to be completed before ClickView can trigger a reload, for example, data retrieval or data cleansing tasks. Once these tasks are completed, ClickView Publisher can be triggered to reload the data without having to have a manual intermediate step. In addition, external schedulers such as Tivoli or Control-M can be implemented to trigger reload tasks within ClickView using the event-driven execution capabilities in ClickView. With any development project, the ability to manage and control changes to applications is important to know what changes were made, when, and by whom, and also to allow multiple developers to work on applications at the same time. The Project Files feature is a function that explodes a single QVW into multiple XML and text files. Each resulting file is the definition of an object in the QVW, such as a chart, a list box, or the load script. Every time a QVW is opened in the developer client, the objects are imported, and each time the document is saved, the changed objects are then overwritten. These project files can then be checked in and out of source code management systems such as Apache Subversion or Microsoft TFS so that the version history of individual objects can be retained and multiple developers can work on different sections of a document. NOAD is a ClickView partner whose product EQM4 is an integrated version and deployment control solution for enterprise ClickView deployments. Once ClickView documents are imported into EQM4, developers can easily check out one or more documents to, to their personal workspace perform some additional development on the application, and when finished, the check-in function copies the changed version from the user's workspace and stores it inside the version control repository. EQM4 deployment control enables easy rollout of multiple ClickView applications to one or more environments or ClickView servers using a single action. When the document is ready to be tested, the change manager can deploy it to the test environment immediately or schedule it for another time. EQM4 helps the test manager by providing reports to scope the test project. Difference analysis is a very important capability to identify the most important changes between the newly developed ClickView document and the version that's currently in use in production. Thus, the test manager can focus on testing only the changed parts of the ClickView document, reducing the risk of not testing parts that actually have changed. When the ClickView document works according to the specifications, the test manager approves it, and the ClickView document state changes to test passed. The change control manager can now approve the document for production immediately or schedule it for another time. This concludes the introductory video on the topic of ClickView integration. In addition to this video, there is a comprehensive white paper on this topic that can be accessed via ClickView.com. Thank you.